Greetings, everybody. It's your old pal Frank here, and happy Monday. So today, folks, we're not ripping into packs. We're not busting open boxes. No, instead, I'm just going to take the time and show you guys everything that I've gotten in the mail these past couple weeks. Starting with some cool stuff I got from my good buddy Sylvain, who lives right here in Montreal. So the first card we have here is a 2006 Upper Deck uh, Phenomenal Beginning of Sidney Crosby. And right off the bat, yes folks, I know this is not an actual Crosby rookie card. Uh, it's from his rookie year, but it's not an actual Crosby rookie card. Uh, this card came in an actual um, Crosby collector set. They used to get, uh, they used to be able to get at Walmart. But the reason why I got this card is because I'm using it as a spot filler in my collection. Why am I using it as a spot filler, you say? Well, that's because I'm currently looking into getting an actual Crosby rookie card. Now, I'm not looking into getting any of his high-end rookie stuff. Like, I know I'm never going to own a Crosby Young Guns because I don't have like a thousand plus dollars to dish out on a single card. And I know I'm never going to own his uh, Future Watch Auto either. But from what I saw online, uh, Crosby has a rookie card in the 06 Parkhurst set. And that just happens to be the same set I got my Lundqvist rookie card from, the one that I sent off the PSA. And the Crosby rookie in that set only goes for about four bucks. So I figure, what the hell, why not? So for now, this card's going to be in my collection. But once I get the Crosby rookie card, this card is going to fly away. <laughs> I know, I know. Bad joke. All right, next I got from 1314 uh, Panini Prism, a Sidney Crosby Blue Parallel. Uh, the reason why I got this card is because, one, the blue parallels from this set look friggin' awesome, and two, it's Sidney Crosby. Uh, I don't have a lot of Sidney Crosby cards in my collection, and I figured Crosby is a safe bet to collect, so... I'll start with Crosby, and then I could uh, start hunting down some of Ovechkin's lower-end cards, and we'll go from there. Uh, next, I got this really cool Willie Mays uh, Gold Glove Biography card. I just saw it, and I thought it looked cool, so I was like, hey, what the heck? You know, you can't go wrong with the Say Hey Kid. The only thing that confuses me about this card is... I look on the back, and I see Playoff, Don Russ, and Cooperstown Collection logos. Now, the style of this card looks like something that would be done by Panini. But as you can see, there is no Panini logo on the back of this card. So I'm wondering, what set is it really from? Is it from Don Russ? Is it from the Cooperstown Collection? I don't know. What I do know is, again... It's a cool looking card. And I also know that someone out there watching this will probably let me know in the comments below what set this is from. And if that's you, I say thank you. Uh, next, from 1314 Panini Prism, I got this pivotal players card of Marty Broder. It's always cool to add another Broder card to the PC. So we got that. Uh, next, this is from 2004 Upper Deck Legends Classics. So I don't know if this was a collector set or if this was a subset. I don't know. The only reason why I wanted this card was because it's Don Cherry. And up to this point, I did not own a single Don Cherry card in my collection. And uh, I saw this and I was like, oh, heck yeah, I'm getting that. And I know it's not as cool as the Don Cherry signed cards that, uh, you know, the Card Collector 255 has or Zero Eleven has. But just the same, it's a Don Cherry card. And the thing I like about my Don Cherry card is blue 
is in the picture with them. And that's friggin' awesome. Uh, next, from Goodwin Champions, and this is my very first Goodwin Champions card. I've never opened any of this stuff, but uh, I figured I'd get this because with how great the Lakers did... Yeah. <laughs> so, this is officially my very first LeBron James card. I know it's probably not the best LeBron James card to get, but... Hey, this is uh, a whole two basketball cards I own in my collection. The other basketball card I have is, I think, uh, 2002 Tops Michael Jordan card. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, next, from 87 Tops, I got this sweet Big Mac, Mark McGuire. I needed this for my set. But also, it's just a really cool card to have. Uh, from Panini Golden Age, I got a Historic Signatures card uh, signed by Jim Button. And a lot of you out there watching may know Jim Button uh, from the famous book he wrote called Ball Four, which really blew the roof off of uh, the backstage going-ons in Major League Baseball. And that's actually a book I still, to this day, really, really want to read. And I'm actually thinking of looking at, uh, or looking for it on uh, Amazon, because I really want that book. And also, Panini Golden Age is a set that I'm thinking of looking into, because there seems to be some really cool cards in this set. So, yeah, that's that. And then the final card I got from Sylvain is a rookie card. A rookie card that I've actually wanted to own for quite some time now. This is from 2012 Bowman. And it just so happens to be Bryce Harper's rookie card. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then the final thing I got from, uh, from Sylvain is not a card. But it's actually another signed puck for my background. Now, this puck is pretty cool. I mean, not saying this Glen Chico Resch puck isn't, but this puck is cool because it's signed by an original six legend, a four-time Stanley Cup champion, a Hall of Famer, and if Muskoka Cards is watching this, which I have a feeling he is, uh, it's also a Toronto Maple Leafs legend. Yes. My new puck for my background is signed by number 21, Mr. Bobby Bond himself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's all the stuff I got from Sylvain. Now, let's move on to some Instagram purchases. First up, uh, I got this really nice stack of 2019-2020. Uh, Tim Hortons cards. Uh, a little while back, I posted on Instagram if anyone had uh, 1920 Tim Hortons cards because I'm still trying to put this set together. And um, a fella by the name of Caleb, aka C3 Collectibles on Instagram, hit me up and he was like, I still have a bunch of uh, Timmy's cards. Which ones do you need? And I, I sent him a picture of my list, and he got back to me. He goes, yeah, he goes, I got I got a bunch, and uh, he, he gave me an awesome deal on them. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So after this video is done, I'm going to put these in my binder. And when I say binder, I don't mean like a Walmart binder. When these cards came out, I went to Timmy's and got the actual card binder. So, uh yeah, I'm I'm pretty legit for this set. <laughs> so I'm just going to run off the base cards for you really quick. So we got Drew Doughty, Latang, Ryan Paling, Devin Dubnik, Shifley, Quick, Wheeler, Aho, Taves, Marner, Getzlaff, Bennington, Eichel, Besser, Stamkos, Kopitar, Pasternak, Shabbat, 
Connor McJesus, <laughs> Ryan O'Reilly, Patty Kane, Leon Dreisaitl, Evgeny Kuznetsov, Elias Pedersen, or Peterson, Evgeny Malkin, Braden Holtby, and the rat, Brad Marchand. <laughs> so we got all those, and he even uh, included a couple insert cards, like this uh, Claude Giroux Stadium Series card, and this sweet red die cut of uh, Ryan Paling. I think out of this whole set of Timmy's cards, the red die cut subset is my favorite. And um, there is a Tim Horton uh, red die cut that I would just love to get. The only problem is it's a short print, or actually I think it's a super short print, and it's a pretty damn pricey card. Um, I found a guy on Facebook Marketplace selling a whole ton of uh, Timmy's cards, and he has that Tim Horton red die cut, and he wants 80 bucks for just that card. And I'm like, oh, I really want it. And I'm like, I don't know, do I pull the trigger on the card? Do I wait and try and find it for cheaper? I don't know. I got a lot of uh, deciding to do. But in a future video, if you see me show off a Tim Hortons red die cut, it's probably safe to say that I caved and bought it from that guy. So, anyway. So once again, uh, Caleb, C3 Collectibles, thank you very much for hooking me up with these Timmy's cards. I'm one step closer to finally completing my set. And I will complete this set one day. So... Thank you very much. And also, anyone out there watching, I highly suggest you go check out C3 Collectibles on Instagram. All right, next, this is another Instagram purchase. This was from, uh, I think, Sports Cards Canada. And he was selling a whole lot of 1516 uh, Series 1 and 2 Young Guns. And I still needed a bunch for both sets. Uh, there are a couple in here that I have already, but I didn't want to be picky and, you know, start picking certain cards out. So I just bought the whole lot, and uh, here's what I got. We got Anthony Sola uh, Stolars, Jonas Donskoy, uh, Ronald Kennis, Devin Shore, Victor Arvidsson, Keegan Lowe, Colin Miller... Zachary Fucal or Fucali, however you pronounce it. Robbie Fabry, Kevin Fiala, and shout out to Fiala Freaks Cards on YouTube and on Instagram. Uh, we got UC Saros, Sam Bretain, Mark Alt, Jean Francois Barube, and I got a Connor McDavid. No, just kidding. I got a <laughs> Henrik Samuelson. I wish I had Connor McDavid's young gun. Well, actually, now that I think of it, I still have down in my uh, my display case a I have a tin of fifteen sixteen Upper Deck Series One. So there's a there's a chance that there could be a Connor McDavid young gun in that tin. I just haven't found the right time to open it. I, I was thinking of either when I hit my two-year anniversary here on YouTube, which will be next March, or when I finally hit, like, 250 subs or something, then we'll open it. And I'm really, really hoping there's a Connor McDavid Young Gun in there, because that tin was really expensive. <laughs> Just saying. All right. Now, the final eBay, uh, not eBay, I have an eBay purchase here, I'll show you that in a bit. The final Instagram purchase is this huge lot right here, and this is all from Beauty Breaks, that's right. Uh, once again, they did their awesome mystery packs, and every time they do them, I can't help but buy a bunch. This time around, I bought eight, because I like to help the guys out, and, um... 
here's what I got. Starting with this Blake Wheeler, numbered to 199 from Premiere. Got a Valerie Nichishkin, uh Rookie Fabrics. Got a Evan Fitzpatrick. Got a Dalton Prout, Hot Rookies from Everyone's Favorite, 12 13 score. <laughs> Got a Slava Voinov, UD Canvas. Cam Atkinson, uh, Red Parallel from Parkhurst. Got a Luke Robitaille from McDonald's. <laughs> Got a uh, Brad Richards, UD Canvas, Victory Rookie of Matt Gilroy. Got a uh, Mikhail Granlin, Shining Stars. Got a uh, Shane the Ghost, Gostas Bear, Shining Stars. Got a uh, Top Rookies of Victor Mete. Got a uh, Champs Rookie of Jacob Del Rose. Got a uh, Regular Future Watch of Christoph Birchie. Got a uh, Hockey Heroes of Brad Park. Top rookies of Nico Heischer. Got my very first stature card. And how awesome is that? It's Mike Badano. Number to 149. So this is the green parallel. It's friggin' cool. Got a UD canvas of Sammy Vatanen. Which I think I have this one already. But I could be wrong. Got a marquee rookie of Nick Camano. Got a heart contenders. Uh, number to 999 from Panini Contenders of Thomas Vanek and if they have other trophy cards like this from this set I want to try and get all of them because these cards look badass got a jersey card of Jeff Friesen from Black Diamond and what's cool about this card is it's numbered to 100 and this is card 100 out of 100 this is the last card that's friggin awesome Got a prime prospect of Eric Stahl. So I think this is his rookie card, which is really neat. And hard to believe he plays for Buffalo now. Wow. <laughs> Got a trilogy rookie renditions of Adam Fox. Got a young guns of Alexander Fortin. A young gun of Jeremy Luzon. Luzon. Got a Young Guns of Tobias Bjornfot. Young Guns of, oh god, Erho Vakaninen. And a Young Guns of Nick Cousins. So that's that's the, the lower end stuff I got from Beauty Breaks. Now let's check out the big stuff. So we have a Colin Miller Young Gun. A Josh Bailey Auto, a Cody uh, Golabeff Auto. I got this sweet trilogy rookie premieres um, level one number to three ninety nine auto of Eric Brandstrom. Got my very first card from uh, Ultimate. And it's a Ultimate Rookies autograph of E2 Lusterinen. I say this is my first card from Ultimate because this product is just too damn pricey for me. So, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> from Heroes and Prospect, got an auto of Yuri Tolusti. From Artifacts, got a dual jersey, dual jersey of... Uh, Elias Lindholm and Johnny Hockey, Johnny Goudreau, We've got some Tundra teammates here, this is pretty cool, and then the big hit, this is from Exquisite, and it's numbered to 299, uh, this is a Troy Terry rookie patch, and that is a sick patch, three color patch, friggin A man, so... That's everything from Beauty Breaks. And I highly suggest you go check them out, whether it be here on YouTube or over on Instagram. On Instagram, they're Beauty Breaks. And here on YouTube, they're Butte Breaks, I believe, or vice versa. Anyway, go check them out. Now we got an eBay purchase. 
This is a card I've been hunting down for quite some time now. Finally pulled the trigger on it. The price was right. I mean, it was still pricey, but the price was right. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to announce that Gritty is now in my collection. And this is the gold Young Guns. There's a silver one and a gold one. And I got the gold one. And um, yeah. This this is a friggin' awesome card. Uh, I know, again, I didn't actually pull it out of a hobby box of SPA. I went and just bought the card, but this card is like nearly impossible to pull. So, yeah, when I saw the price this one was going for on eBay, I I, I pulled the trigger on it and bought it. So, and uh, he's gonna be part of my background now. As long as I remember to put them up. <laughs> and then the last thing I have here is from a break I was in on Bear Break's Instagram uh, page. He hit me up a little while back asking if I wanted to take part, uh, take part in a 1920 SPA break. And at first I was a little hesitant because the first two breaks I ever took part in... I didn't do so didn't do so good but then I was like ah, okay what the hell why not and uh, I picked two random teams and um, I hit pretty big want to see what I got well I got this bad boy right here Carrie Price no <laughs> just kidding no I got this bad boy right here yeah a Nick Suzuki future watch auto mm -hmm. yeah um yeah like i said i i joined i joined his break and i saw the habs were still available so i picked them in washington didn't hit anything on washington but the second hit out of the bo first box was was this guy right here and if new york was still available the rangers that is and if i would have picked them I would have probably gotten both hits out of the box because for the Habs, obviously, was this. And then for the Rangers was a uh, Igor Shosturkin Future Watch Auto. And I was like, oh, that's cool. So, yeah. But all in all, I'm happy with this. And it was so funny because when this was pulled, there were people in the comments on the live video already going, hey, who got the Suzuki? Does he want to sell it? And and I'm like, no, I, I'm keeping this sucker. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, that's it. That's everything I've gotten. Uh, I am still waiting for one thing in the mail. I'm waiting for a package from Topps. Um... I finally ordered at like the end of July, beginning of August, my first Topps Project 2020 card. And just this past Thursday, I, I got an email from Topps telling me that the card is on its way. So when it gets here, I will do a video showing it off to you guys. And if from now till whenever the card gets here, if there's anything else that comes in the mail, I'll include it in that video. Alrighty, so that's it for this video. I know we're at like 23 plus minutes. I apologize, but all in all, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumbs down as well. Uh, before leaving, like, comment, and subscribe. And as I say at the end of every video, folks, keep collecting what you enjoy collecting, and I'll see you all in the next one. Laters. Oh, P.S. Everyone that I mentioned in this video, so C3 Collectibles, Butte Breaks, uh, Sports Cards Canada, um, yeah, those are all the ones on uh, on Instagram and on YouTube. Go check them out, please. Go give them some love. Alrighty? Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Laters.